Hey, what's going on, Pants? It's Batman. Steve here, and as we're playing some more Strife. So the game's already started. For some reason, my game kept auto-minimizing, so I had to quit out and re-log back in and whatnot. Seems to have fixed it. But So today, we are playing Zaku. So Zaku is a kind of a mage support hybrid. He has a lot of utility and support built into his kit, but he can also do a lot of damage if he wants to. So we'll quickly go over his kit and whatnot. So as you said there, that, that was his Q, Bioswarm. So he targets, or he creates a Bioswarm in target direction. Um, it is a channel, does damage over time to anyone that stands in it and reduces their armor and magic resistance by five up to 20, um, depending on, oh, I don't know why we paused it, but um, depending on how long they stand in it and whatnot. So this is his, probably his strongest ability, I would say. Um, what are they doing? Oh, now we're lagging pretty bad. Uh, but this is his strongest ability. Um, it lowers their magic resistance and armor, so it makes them a lot more squishier. Very good at like shredding targets and clearing minion waves, so we will max this ability first. His W is Sticky Trap, so it's a lot like Teemo Streams if you ever play League of Legends. You basically throw down a trap in an area. It is invisible to the enemy, um, and if they step on it, it'll deal damage to them and s root them for one second up to 2.2 seconds, depending on the rank of the ability. Oh my gosh, this lag. His E is Mending Pot. He basically throws down a little pot on the ground, which after 10 seconds sprouts into a, uh, what do they even call it? I guess it just sprouts and you can act, you can click on it to replenish your health and mana um, by certain amounts, depending on the rank. There's the stats right there if you want to see them. And then his ultimate is Death's Embrace. It works a lot like Zillion's ultimate if you're playing League of Legends. Um, he throws on himself or an ally protecting them from death for six seconds. If they die during the duration of the ultimate, they are brought back to life with 30% health up to 50% health, depending on the rank. When they are revived, it also spawns three beetles that can deal massive damage, slowing and um, I think also slows, they also slow attack speed. Let's see, by 30% movement speed to, or 30% slow to movement speed and attack, so yeah. yeah that's right. And then we of course took Mystic for the extra damage and mana regen. There we go, now we're not lagging. Uh, we'll just kind of harass him a bit. There we go, there's some decent damage. And then we'll come back here and eat the pod, throw down another one. So with Zaku, the two things you want to be pretty much keeping up on on all times is throwing down your traps on the edge of the, the lanes, so that way the minions don't proc them. And then also keeping your pods up in the back. So I'd say whenever you throw down, pick one up. Or just keep throwing them down, you know, and let your, the passive regen re regenerate your mana back. Because they do take quite a decent chunk of mana um, at the start of the game. As you start getting your items, they don't take quite as much. Throw down another trap right there. That should be out of the minion's range. And then we'll just kind of poke and harass with our bio swarm as well as farm and push lane where we can. And then we'll go back and eat the pod. Throw down another one. So we're up against Vermilion. Ooh, maybe. Oh no, not quite fast enough. Uh, Vermilion and Fetterstone. Double A to carry lane, kind of annoying. But we are also a kind of double caster slash supportish lane, so we have a decent chunk of CC and a decent chunk of damage. Well, a good chunk of damage from Malady. Um, I have some pretty good damage over time, and I can also soften them up for Malady's burst. So hopefully we can be able to start scoring some kills as we get to our ultimates and whatnot. I need to try and follow up on her tornado, so if she lands a tornado, I need to follow up with my Q, and then hopefully, maybe even if I can, follow up with a trap and then Q, but that would be a pretty tricky combo, I would say. So we'll throw down another trap right there. 
Go throw down a pod back here. Looks like we don't have any back here. So when they can kill your pods, I think it's like two or three auto attacks to kill it. So you kind of want them um, out of their reach. Usually behind your towers is fine. Um, I think abilities do hurt them as well. So if they have a long range ability, maybe even go a little bit back further. Maybe a little bit to the side or something. Um, but they're usually not going to be like super focused on trying to take care of your pods. So, so for our first item, we took Crystalline Shiv just because it gives us... Uh, more damage and more mana regen based on how full our health is and since it's pretty easy to sustain ourselves with Zaku um, I see no reason why not to take it I think next we'll probably get the arcane emblem um, And then I have a modified pyro staff that we'll probably pick up I like to take the pyro staff just because it gives us another level of burst to add to our kit um, So we're more primarily damage over time, but with the pyro staff we have a little chunk of burst So it's always useful Let's Throw that down there and let her eat those up. Oh, someone paused it again. I have no idea why they keep pausing it like that. Usually you only pause it when someone disconnects so that way you can more of a service to your team so that way you don't have to play without your teammate, you know. Ooh, look at that damage over time. Oh, so close. Alright, we should have our trap up soon. There we go. Throw it down right there. So I, at least in mid lane, always kind of keep it around these bushes. Just because if someone comes out through there, they're going to get snared. Um, and then people will also try to kite your minions through here. Not really kite them, but... Um, but yeah, they'll try to kind of skirt the minion wave. We'll just keep poking with our Q. So I think another uh, good thing you could take would be... Oh, what's his name? The pet that bust your minions and pushes really hard. I think that would also be a, a, a good pet for Zaku just because he's really, really good at pushing. He is a very strong pusher. Um, as you max out your Q, your Q just rips apart minion waves. Um, so you could very easily push down towers pretty quickly if you wanted to play a, a push lane. Ah, <laughs> he wasn't expecting it. <laughs> very nice. Ooh, maybe. Oh, very nice. We got her ultimate off. Not ready for that yet. So yeah, go back and use those pods and she should be fine. We'll just kind of keep pushing. Trying to do as much damage as we can to the tower. Yeah, she's coming back. So our team as a whole though is not doing very well. I think Top has fed like two or three kills now at this point. Oh, look at that damage. What is he doing? He's just standing there. <laughs> we almost killed him. <laughs> Alright, we'll throw down a mining pot in here. I think it should be fine over there. That way they're nearby, just in case we need them. She's kind of needing some sustain here, so we'll throw down a sticky trap right there. Sticky traps are good for just containing lane, too, just because they it makes them kind of afraid to walk around, because they know that your traps are going to be out, around and out there. So they kind of stick more towards the middle of the lane. Man, what are they doing? Let's see. Someone, oh my goodness, they're Rook. That Rook is so fed. It's just Rook and Aya though, so yeah, it looks like it's just top lane that's doing bad. Hopefully we can come back from that. If we can focus them down, we should be fine. So let's Push, do a little bit of damage, throw down the trap. Oh crap. Looks like I is coming down here to try and help push down this tower. There we go, a little bit of damage. Give me the pod. Okay, good. Oh shoot, I didn't see that. Oh, why did you walk backwards after pulling her? <laughs> oh, the trap. Probably not enough though. Go ahead and put that on him. Oh, there we go, kill. Oh gosh, no, the minion. Okay, good. Oh, and he picked up Fetterstone. I think he still died though. Yeah, he still died. Still got Fetterstone though, so that's good. 
we will go ahead and just head back now. We have tons of money to spend, and we're very low health. No reason really to stay in lane. So that worked out pretty decently. There was a, a good showcase of his ultimate and whatnot. Go ahead and pick up our rune boots. Um, get the emblem starting. And we'll go ahead and pick up a health potion as well. So rune boots or the power boots. I can't remember what they're called. Yeah, just power boots. Those are both good options for him. Um, if you feel like you'd just rather have more damage instead of sustain, then definitely go with the power boots. But I like having the ridiculous... Oh my goodness. Rook! Oh, come on. Oh, they still got her. Didn't have my ult, so I couldn't bring her back. Alright, we're gonna pop. Oh, shoot! I was not paying attention. I was trying to use my potions. <laughs> Nice, got the grab. Is that going to be enough, though? Oh, should be. Yep, very nice. Popped him with her ult. All right, we'll throw down a pod back here. Get that going. Don't mess with the key. We'll come in here and throw it down so we can't see it, just in case. And then we'll start pushing this lane a bit. So both are, well, there's Vermillion still. Oh, and Fairstone. Both are back now. Ooh, good damage, good damage. Oh, dang, he still got her. I thought she was out. Mm, I'm probably dead, too. Oop, no. Nope. What's his butt save me? Yes! <laughs> there we go, there's the double kill. Perfect. We'll pick up the pod just in case. I think we were fine, but that's okay. We can stay in lane, actually. Throw down another pod back here. There's Rook. We need to be very careful of Rook. Rook's doing really well right now. There we go, get some damage off on him. Fixing his Moving on. There's the emblem. Go ahead and get that coming our way. Throw down a pod back here. Don't mess with the oh shoot. I've got nothing to help you with. Oh. There we go. Perfect. Oh, and Shank picked up Rook. Very nice. So we're slowly coming back, it looks like. I mean, Rook and Aya still definitely have all of their kills, but we're... Very slowly coming back. Ooh, not quiet. Yeah, you gotta get out of there, bro. Pop our rune boots, get our health back up and our mana. No, oh, don't do it. I have no mana. <laughs> okay. That Worked out, kind of. Oh, maybe, come on. Yes! Oh my gosh, that was so close. Put another point to our traps. Our traps are maxed out now. So we should be doing some pretty good damage through them. 226, 227 now. I'm not sure what happened there. Oh, the crystalline shiv. Okay. Get that going. There we go, we should have some pretty good burst now. 
Oh, not burst, but damage over time. 216 damage per second, and it lasts 4 seconds. That's a lot of damage. Moving on. I wonder if we can double up traps and do double damage. Well, that was weird. He popped the trap, but he still was moving. I don't know if maybe he had something that negates CC. I don't really know. I didn't know there was an item like that if there is. No, it doesn't look like it. Oh, look at that damage. We'll go ahead and just pop our boots. Because why not? See, look at that damage. She just gets destroyed. Go ahead and pop our pet, too. Get that mana back. Is there someone down there? Why is he pinging for me? There's Bo. Let's pop this tower and then we'll back up a bit. That's the way. Top Throw down that trap. Get a pod going. Looks like we already have one back here still. Good, good. There we go. There's some good damage. Keep throwing those back down. Oh, I've got no mana. Rune boots, go. Good point to our ultimate. There we go. That stink gets yeah, forty percent health and mana back now. Oh gosh, I screwed up. That's the way. No! Oh, good. I thought Rook was gonna turn on me. Alright, let's go back and grab one of these pods. Oh, crap. Yep, he's screwed. <laughs> I don't know why he dealt with me. That was not a. Oh, oh he skirted the trap. Just bare. Oh, that wasn't even him. Dang it. Well, we should have him, yeah. Pop our room boost again. Should be able to take that tower. With four of them dead now. Very nice. So, so far we're doing really good. 12 kills and assists and one death. We may be able to carry yet. Let's say, just keep keep on pushing. Oh, never mind. Oh, my traps kind of screwed up his ultimate. Sorry, bro. Oh, very nice. They still got him, though. Okay, back out. Back out. We're going to retreat. We're too low to do much of anything right now. And we can pick up our pyro, pyro staff. So I have the pyro staff with extended range. Um, and then I put all damage on it. So it's pretty beast. I like it this way anyway. 
So we're gonna go ahead and pick up the Rune Scepter. That seems like a good idea. Cooldown reduction. Uh, what does it also give? I think it's mana regen and power. So all good stuff. Oh, there's a Rook ult. <laughs> they're slipping up. I don't know what they're doing, but we're we're suddenly doing really good now. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, very nice. <laughs> that was perfect. They collapsed in from the side, picked off Aya as she ran away. Um, and then we finished off Rook with really no troubles at all. Go ahead and pop the Rune Boots, get, the, get our health and mana back up. Push this wave, and we should be able to take down the second tower. Oh, don't tank it though. No reason to tank the tower. Okay, good, he's not. I thought he was. <laughs> there we go. Oh, very nice. Maldi's getting kills too. We'll just keep on pushing, keep on pushing. Looks like they're distracted mid. Ooh, we got Aya bot, or top, sorry. We'll go ahead and throw a pod there. It's probably gonna get destroyed. Yeah, we're not gonna stay, so it's gonna get destroyed. A little bit of a waste, but that's okay. We'll drop a trap down in here just in case anyone needs to run. They can bait through there. Oh, what are you doing, dude? Oh, very nice. We should be able to get that. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. I shall not question Shank again. He seems to know what he's doing. <laughs> oh yes, we snared both of them. So that is one thing to, uh, to note, is you can snare multiple people. Oh shoot. Run! Get the rune boots going. Oh, no, 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 no. The click or the auto mapping, whatever it was. We're more than likely dead. Yep, there we go. There goes the hook. Dang it, that uh, auto pathing. Okay, so we got our rune scepter. Uh, do we want this? More cooldown direction? Yeah. That'd probably be good. I think we'll go with the power conduit first, just because that's going to give us even more damage and health. Because really, we just need to be able to out-survive people while we channel Bioswarm. Bioswarm is doing 218 damage now per second, so doing some good damage, but we definitely need some more uh, damage to blow, or to back it up. I need to remember my Pyro Staff, too. I keep forgetting about it. There's the range on it, in case anyone's curious. Ooh, not quiet. Oh shoot, that's not what we wanted. Ah, <laughs> the trap. That's the nice thing about Zaku is he kind of counters uh, Rook in a sense. Because if Rook goes into his invulnerability thing, you just throw down a trap on top of it. And he's pretty much screwed. It kind of secures the kill for you. He's almost helping you out. Just asking to be killed. It is quite nice. So I think in terms of towers, yeah, we are ahead. We still have all of our bot lane towers. Um, they are down to two towers, it looks like. We're just going to keep pushing. There's a lot of them bot lane, but we're going to keep pushing um, and see if we can take this tower. I think we might be able to. Oh, no, Rook. Oh gosh. Oh dang, that range. Oh my goodness. The shank definitely knows what he's doing. Holy crap. Oh, there we go. I got you, bro. Yeah, run back in, run back in. Very nice, very nice. Go ahead and just farm that up a bit. Room boots are back up, so we'll go ahead and pop those again. Ooh, do you need help? Oh, they got each other. <laughs> All 
All right, we'll go ahead and help them with uh, Sindara. He's good. Uh, Zaku is also really good at taking objectives because of the armor and magic resistance shred. It just lowers their health or their resistances like crazy, making them die a lot faster. All right, we have tons of money. We need to buy something. Oh, so close. Throw that down right there, just in case. We'll take the long way back to mid just to be safe. Go ahead and pop that tower and then head back up this way and we'll kind of push this lane and farm it a bit. Um, it looks like we're going to have Kratos go down and no one's bothered to changing it, so we'll just help push it. Kind of push it down as far as we can. I think, uh, at least with Kratos, I don't know if this is a general, like the general strategy, a good strategy, but you kind of want to have it pushed as far as you can before Kratos spawns, so that way he doesn't lose any of his health pushing the lane. Very nice, double kill. Let's see if we can catch up. Boom! Got the zap off, got the assist. That's all we care about. There we go, we should be able to take this generator with uh, no no troubles at all, I think. Oh, shoot. Oh, okay, I thought that was Rook. Rook terrifies me. He's the one character I absolutely despise and hate in this game. There we go. Very nice. We kind of stole that, but I was more going for the armor shred. Go ahead and take advantage of the uh, what's-his-face, Krytos, as much as we possibly can. There we go, get the ult off. Oh shoot, well, we're probably dead. Yeah, there we go. We screwed up. <laughs> we almost got Rook with our ultimate and whatnot. Not quite though. Getting very close to having our full power conduit of might. So I have it enhanced so it gives 4% 4, 4 bonus power. So we're currently at 218. Should jump up a decent chunk once we pick up the full power conduit. Looks like Maudie's trying to get away from Bo. Bo's kind of a pain in the butt though with his slow. Um, he can also do a lot of damage if he's built towards it. I don't know if they ever nerfed him, but I remember back, I kind of stopped playing Strife for a while and then I've slowly come back to it. Um, but back in a, when I was playing a couple months ago, he was pretty insane. He could pretty much just solo kill anyone he wanted or even run into three people and blow them up with his stun and his uh, bow staff and whatnot. Not sure if they've nerfed him since then, but if not, he's still very strong, I would say. So this you need to be very careful. It's just Maldi and... Uh, what's his face? I don't even remember. Hale, that's it. Go ahead and have her back. Get her out of there safely. And then we'll just kind of push the lane a bit. So everything is now maxed out but our ultimate. Ooh, we're not going to get there in time enough to save him. Maybe for Hale. Ooh, get the ult. There we go. He is fine. Boom. There's a kill. Beetles are nearby, I believe. And there we go. Perfect. We'll throw down a mending pod right there, just in case. Go ahead and pop our rune boots. Get our mana back. And we'll just keep pushing down mid. I think we should be able to just attack their crux and hopefully finish it. So we can pick up our full power conduit. Let's get that coming our way. Go ahead and push the wave and just start attacking. They are all dead. Rook's back up now though, so we need to be very careful of that. Yep, there he is. I think we should, yep, there we go, perfect. <laughs> the CC and damage over time from the both of us is absurd. I cannot back you up with my ult, bro, so be very careful. Oh, so close. He finished it anyway. So there you have it. There was Zaku. He is easily my all-time favorite champion right now of Strife. He is very fun, very strong, um, and just very good at backing up his teammates, as well as dishing out a lot of damage and just shredding the enemy. So I'm going to go ahead and end the recording now and cut to the uh, scoreboards. So we can see how well we did and whatnot. So I'll be back in a second, bandits. All right, so here we are. Let's see what kind of uh, rewards and stuff we got. So we got win a game, 
Okay, good, good, good stuff. Fighter Sense and the Reaper. Highest number of kills and assists, let's see. Uh, fighter Sense, you have the combat intelligence of a fighter and you have the highest kill assists to deaths ratio in the match. Awesome. Let's see where we're at. Nine kills, 17 assists, and three deaths. Very nice, we did very well. Ooh, uh, Hale's the only one with less deaths. Our team overall did very well, except uh, Shank and, uh, what's his face? I don't even remember his name. It starts with an H, I remember. Harrower, that's it, Harrower. They both kind of struggled up top for a little bit. They definitely fed um, Aya and Rook a good chunk, but they definitely came back, or Shank especially, he definitely started doing very good towards the end there. Um, started picking people off very well with his ultimate. So there you have it though, that was Zaku. Um, he's very fun, very strong, very good at supporting his teammates while also dishing out a lot of damage and kind of just shredding the enemy and making them a lot weaker while also doing a lot of damage. Um, if you know who your key kind of teammates are who are doing the most damage, his ult is awesome for just keeping them alive as well as uh, adding a little bit more damage to what they're doing. Um, but yeah, there's Zaku. He's easily my favorite now. If you haven't played him yet, I definitely recommend trying him out. Might as well since all the champions are free. He's very fun, very strong, and I definitely recommend him. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and thumb it up to let me know. Share it around with your friends. It's the channel grows by your word of mouth. And I hope to see you in the next one, bandits. Stay frosty.